Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you've got a picture like this, you've got some very strong light sources. Um, it's nice to make this the light kind of explode out of those things. It's sort of like if you, so you'd like to like have these windows kind of blurred outwards, but you don't want to blur anything else. So what we can do is I hit Control J to duplicate it, uh, and I'm just going to turn the bottom one off because I'm going to go to this little cogwheel here, which is the blend ranges, which sets the transparency. So I'm working on this layer here. So I want to pull down the darks and the darks start disappearing. I can drag this along. It starts to get difficult to see things and a, a trick to let you see what is left here is to go click on the bottom one here because above that is going to put a layer and a new fill layer and the color you set here whatever you like contrasting color that lets those lights stand out now when i'm playing with this going back up to this one i can see what is being knocked out so this is the dark this is the light this is up here is opacity and down here transparent so I'm pulling things out here so that I can pull this one up here and so on. Just want to get the light areas that I'm going to work with. That looks okay. Now I want to blur these, but I can't blur it on this layer because that blend ranges will also start knocking out the blur effects where it covers other areas. So what I'm going to do is do a right click on that and do a merge visible but first of all I want to turn off that purple fill layer otherwise I'll get purple on it so right click and merge visible now these two layers here I don't need so I can delete them or I can just put them in a group and make them invisible but now I've got the light area that I'm going to work with so I can turn the bottom layer back on now so with this top layer now I'm just going to put a blur on it live filters and Gaussian blur and I can wind up the blur and you can see the light from the windows blurs outwards now. Notice I do not put in Preserve Alpha because if I click that on it disappears back again. You want that Preserve Alpha off. And this immediately gives me that burst, you know, that light burst from the window. If I want to make that more exaggerated I can just hit Control J to do it again because it's only going to go so far. Uh, and there you go. You can increase it uh, as ad infinitum. So you could do con more control J's. If you, by the way, you can type in a bigger number here, but it just pushes the light out and it gets faded there. So a way to spread it further again is if I hit click on that and shift click on the, bo the bottom one and hit control G to form a group. Now it's just so we can see the group here. And a little trick here is to go to the live filters here and go to motion blur because if I turn the radius up here it's going to put a bit of movement blur on this I put the blend mode of that to screen and if I rotate this it kind of rotates it all the way around and I can put this at a higher number say 200 and see that spread that sideways but I want to have that see there that rotates the whole thing there but I want to have it all the way around so I just have two of those so I hit that and hit Control J again and on one of them I'll just put it right angles to the other one so I'll just grab this and rotate that around so with one going down one going across we got the effect of it blurring out further again so there's a way of, of spreading the light but just from those light areas and you can say duplicate these put in the motion blurs at right angles one another and that will spread the light further do it to the level that you like and there we go so thank you very much for watching